Easter greetings, Xavier family. As spring unfolds around us in so many different ways, I'm grateful for this opportunity to share a few words with you. For many of us, this spring in particular has already included some incredible high points, not the least of which has been being carried along on a journey into March Madness, the first in several years at Xavier, on the coattails of a group of fine young men, supported by extraordinary Ignatian educators and our coach and his team of staff and student managers. This spring marks key holidays in many religious traditions. Our Jewish friends celebrate Passover at this time, while Muslim family members mark the holy month of Ramadan on the way to Eid. For Christians, of course, Easter is when we celebrate the fullness of God's love made manifest in the resurrection. This is a time of joy and rejoicing as we commemorate this season with gatherings, traditional meals, and a reconnection with family and friends. Truly, Easter is our annual reminder of God's promise to the world fulfilled through the passion, death, and resurrection of Jesus. It's a reminder to all of us that no matter the difficulties we face, God is always with us and that he will grant new life within us. It is a reminder that promises made are promises kept. St. Ignatius of Loyola calls each of us to constantly seek God's presence in the world around us. A brisk walk across this beautiful campus is filled with that presence as we marvel at the renewal of new growth in the trees emerging from their winter rest and the splendor of flowers springing forth in nature's glory of new creatures. And of course, in the beautiful young men and women who we serve every day on this campus. God's presence is truly unavoidable. In the fourth week of the spiritual exercises, we're called to a contemplation on divine love, seeking and finding God in all things and seeing the reflection of his love given to us unconditionally and freely. But remember also, Xavier family, that at the same time as we seek the face of God in everything around us, so too must we be that same face for others. Our Jesuit Catholic commitments call us to show God's presence in the world to those around us, whether through service or kindness or standing in solidarity with those on the margins or a commitment to justice or simply giving grace to those who need it. That is our shared vocation across our Xavier family. We recall the words of St. Teresa of Avila who so beautifully summarized our calling. Christ has no body on earth but yours, no hands but yours, no feet but yours. Yours are the eyes through which Christ's compassion for the world is to look out. Yours are the feet with which he is to go about doing good, and yours are the hands with which he is to bless us now. Musketeers, we are most truly a resurrection people, called to take our parts, big and small, in fulfilling God's promise to the world. My prayer is that each of you experience the joy of the risen Christ in your hearts, in your homes, in your communities. Students and colleagues, when you return to campus next week, we know it will be a busy sprint to the finish line, the final sprint for our seniors as commencement comes into focus. May the peace and joy of Easter stay with you through the coming days and weeks as you see the endless list of God's promises kept in each of your lives. Together as a single Xavier family, men and women, for and with others, we will continue to strengthen one another, witnesses to God moving in each of our lives. From my family to yours, a very happy Easter and may God bless each of you, all for one and one for all.